Hello, I'm uh, Anthony Silvano and I work at L'Allemand as a yeast product manager for wine. Uh, my role is to manage the full range of uh, wine active dry yeast uh, for L'Allemand Enology. So it means uh, coordinating from the, the R&D and development and selection of uh, new yeast to the introduction to the market including quality in production and coordinating all what is around the production and selection of wine yeast. What I like with L'Allemand is that it's a company driven by, uh, by innovation first and uh, this is uh, my way to go in life and as a, a professional in business. Uh, I like uh, be, to be driven by innovation, R&D and, and progress. Then what I like at L'Allemand too is the, the great team spirit uh, and it's a very dynamic company, uh, so it's uh, very uh, enthusiastic to work uh, with such a company. If we have to summarize it, uh, I think it can bring two main benefits to the wine industry. The first one is to provide um, the best quality that we can supply in terms of wine yeast in order to achieve for the, the winemakers um, the best alcoholic fermentation they can. And so in, to respect the, the, all the work they did uh, in the vineyards and to achieve to have the better grape they can could help to, to achieve the best wine they can produce in, the, in their vineyards. I would say the second one is uh, to bring innovation to this wine industry. Uh, and by innovation I mean um, natural solution, biological ones, uh, to answer and to face uh, the challenges of uh, the wine industry today and, and tomorrow. I can see mainly two big trends emerging since years, in my opinion, that will be uh, even more prominent in the next future. Uh, the first one is a reduction of entrants, mainly chemical inputs. Obviously, uh, sulfites is one, uh, but the next step will be uh, to reduce uh, all sorts of uh, chemical entrants and to go for more uh, biological and natural solutions. So this is the first one to have a more, uh, let's say, natural approach uh, to the wine. And the second one I would summarize by uh, less is more, a kind of premiumization of the food wine industry. So drink less but better. And we can see it uh, with, the, with the trend with the wine uh, in bottles that are increasing and also the, the price. Uh, of the, uh, the bottle wines in the market and uh, the behavior of the consumers. They tend to consume less but better. My first experience with wine was with my grandfather and uh, every Sunday lunch uh, we, had, uh, we had lunch with my, my grandfather and my grandmother. I was very impressed to see all the, the tradition and, and uh, everything around opening the bottle and smell it and, and watch and look at it and then uh, taste it etc. And when I turned 11 or 12, uh, he proposed me uh, to, to taste a bit of wine. So I was really flattered, you know, and honored by this. We went on with this tradition. So every, every Sunday lunch, uh, I was waiting to discover a new wine, mainly red, mainly from the, the South Rhone Valley, uh, with my grandfather. So it was uh, very emotional and it's, um, it's a strong memory. It's not really related with wine, uh, but I, uh, I have a kind of uh, passion. I, I'm really enthusiastic about uh, fontaine pens and inks. So I know it's a kind of uh, old school tradition and old school passion with today internet and, and uh, all the social media things and, uh, and everyone taking notes on computer. But I like this link with the tradition taking notes by handwriting and I like this way to have um, this connection with, uh, with the old ways uh, of, uh, of writing using a fontaine pen, um, filling it with, with my own ink uh, manually and then uh, writing with my hand on the, on the paper. Uh, it, it brings me back to to tradition and to what is real. But at the same time, there are new fountain pen every year, every month. So it's a, it's a real link between tradition and innovation. And that's, that's uh, what has driven me in my personal and business life. Honesty, first. I like uh, to be honest and, and people to be honest with me. Transparency and, and honesty, the first one, uh, which is linked with, uh, with uh, respect. Respect your colleagues, respect your customer, respect your, your family. And last one is uh, kindness. Uh, I think we are living in a world with, with, which is missing some kindness. Uh, to be kind to your 
to your, to your friends, to your people, or even to people you don't know. That could help in our world today. So again, it's not really linked with wine or, or with business, but uh, I'm really close to my family. And one of my dreams would be to, to travel for uh, my, my wife and two children. I have two boys, two young boys. I would love to, to travel with them uh, to French Polynesia. We are very enthusiastic about the, the sea and, and, and diving and everything. So for our 15 uh, wedding anniversary, we would like to travel uh, to, together in the family to French Polynesia.